thank you very much for your time here on ENCA. Now, let's start off with how these artists, these young artists who could be watching this right now, how do they enter? Well, they need to get on to, well, firstly, good morning and thank you, and thank you for having me on your show, Marcel. Uh, with regards to the entry, you need to go on to the website, which is africa. You must be between 21 and 40 years old. On the website, you will find your registration where you upload all your information, as well as four examples of your work, maximum five. The reason for this is that we would like to see what your trajectory as an artist is, what you are making, what you're passionate about, and it gives us a greater idea of you as the artist if we see at least four examples of your work rather than one. So um, I think it is an ideal opportunity. It is really one of the most prestigious competitions in Africa. And the competition is tough between 12 different countries. In Africa, I think um, if you are serious about a career in the arts and you feel competitive, this is your opportunity. Mm. Uh, tell us about the success stories of such uh, a competition. I mean, 35 years running, it means you're doing something right. <laughs> yes, you know, initially it was uh, just for South African artists. Five years ago, uh, we expanded that. Um, ABSA decided, no, we need to walk into Africa and open up borders and see what we could actually do for artists across uh, the continent. And we've had, from the 80s, successful artists like Penny Siopas. We've had uh, Diane Victor. We've had Isaac Peniel in the 90s, Lawrence uh, Lamoa. And 2019, we had uh, Ranji Bamedele from Nigeria, Winifred uh, Luena from Tanzania, Kenzani Bishlampu from South Africa. We've also had artists, local artists like uh, Banele Koza, uh, who's opened up his second gallery space. So... The opportunity is um, really vast. It is not um, holding you back in terms of being just an artist, but a gallerist, a person who also promotes other artists. So the success is extreme. In the time period of 35 years, it means we've created a database of more than 35 artists in that uh, time period. Mm. Now tell us about how COVID-19 uh, affected this. I believe there were ambassadors from 2019 who were supposed to travel to France, but of course, because of the ban on tr international travel, that couldn't happen. So how do we work around this this year? Now, that was really quite a tricky situation because, you know, the competition is really about the artists and how do they benefit. It's not about giving them um, an expansive amount of money and saying, well, here you are, make the best of it but we are trying to really support them so with the uh COVID meant that we had to rethink the prize that we would award and the competition actually looks at three Le Atelier ambassadors not just one winner as well as a winner for the Gerard Secoto winner um which spends time in in Paris but in terms of rethinking the prizes we have uh decided that all of this will be online they would receive, the winners would receive a brand new laptop with sufficient data to keep them enabled to connect uh, during the activities. There are 10 virtual masterclasses with leading experts nationally and internationally. And these masterclasses are quite important because it deals with ideas of how to actually brand yourself, uh, how to deal with legal matters how to actually present yourself to gallerists, how to actually create a, a profile for yourself. So these are really important uh, matters that artists very often are lacking. So we feel these masterclasses really enable the artists. We also felt that it is important for the um, winning artists to secure a mentor of their choice in their country. For example, uh, Ranji Bamidele in Nigeria would select an artist um, in his country whom he would like to work with as a mentor for a period of a month. Mm. So that also networks you with the best artists in your country. 
apart from that, you will also have the opportunity to have a collaborative exhibition. If we still have the issue of COVID, then it would be online. But uh, APSA would actually put the entire marketing wheel, uh, the whole um, um, expertise behind you to actually manage your whole uh, uh, pronouncement of your, your exhibition in your particular country as well as in South Africa at the uh, uh, APSA Gallery in Johannesburg. Mm. You would also have the opportunity uh, within the five years of you winning this particular competition to have a solo show at the APSA Gallery. So this really, really promotes the artist in many ways, mm. not just in uh, awarding him and or her an exhibition. All right. So. There's a lot of forms of art, right? So what exactly are you looking for? If a person, for instance, is passionate about uh, sculptures, would they be able to also enter the competition? Yes. There is no limit to the kind of medium that you would be working in. You could do uh, two-dimensional works, which are paintings. You could do sculpture. You could do installation. You could do video work. You could do any digital media, as long as we see that the works that you are actually making is professional, that it is speaking to what it is that you're talking about in your theme, that you are articulate, that you are actually um, interested in pursuing the career of an artist. So there's no limitation. It's just that you have to be between 21 and 40 years of age. All right. Avi Sofu, thank you so much uh, for your time.